In this session, we're going to create the top surface for the southern portion of our corridor model. As you can see, we're picking up where we left off in the last lesson. This corridor represents SR7. If I look at my prospector tab, I can see that one is asking to be rebuilt. Let me right click on that and I'll choose rebuild. To build the surface, I'm going to select the corridor. Now earlier, we built the corridor by going to corridor properties. You can do everything with respect to the corridor in the corridor properties dialog box. This time, though, we're going to use one of the shortcuts. After selecting the corridor, I'll click Corridor Surfaces. This takes me right to the two tabs necessary to build the surface. Let me click the Create Surface button, and I'm going to call this one SR7 Top. For the display style, I am going to choose Triangles 1 and 1 Existing Green, same as before. Now let's add some data to this surface. I'd like to add all of the links that include the top code. We'll make those break lines. We're going to add the overhang correction. And then based on what we saw earlier, we're going to add some feature lines as well. Let's add the back of curb feature line. We'll add the face of curb feature line. And then we'll add the flow line of gutter. Finally, I'm going to add a boundary. Let me click the Boundaries tab. I'll right click on the surface name and I'll choose Corridor Extents as Outer Boundary. I'll click OK. We'll rebuild the corridor. Let me press Escape to deselect the corridor. And then we'll click the surface and we'll take a look. I'll bring up the object viewer. We'll orbit this around. Let's tip it up. We can see we've got good definition on the curb and gutter. Traffic separator looks good. My median curb and gutter looks good. Let me orbit this around and we will find that we have a similar elevation issue right here where we transition from the type D to the type F curb and gutter. Let's fix this by adding some overrides to our corridor. I'm going to close the object viewer and I'll press escape to deselect the surface. Let's push this to the back just to make it a little easier to select the corridor. I'll select the surface and right click. I'll go to display order and I'll choose send to back. I will then zoom in. I'm going to select the corridor using this assembly insertion just south of the transition. Go to the section editor and I'll zoom in on that location. Let's use zoom to an offset and elevation to lock that view on screen. I will then walk forward until I get to the beginning of the median. This is the first instance of the type F curb and gutter. Let's override the slope of these curbs. We'll make these positive 2%. I'm going to do that by bringing up the parameter editor. I'll drag this over to the other side. And let me collapse these items on the right side. Let's look for right curb and gutter inside. I'll open that up and I'm going to change the adjacent lane slope from negative 2% to 2%. Let's pull this up and we will collapse that. Let's collapse these on the left side. There we go. We'll go to left curb and gutter inside. I'll go to adjacent lane slope and I'll change this to 2%. When I'm finished, I'll close the palette and then we'll tie up our link. I'll do that by using the control key. I'll select that and then I'll click the grip and I'll manually place this to the top back of curb. I will then control click on that again and I'll click the grip on the other side and I'll move this to the top back of curb. I will then come up and click update corridor to update my surface and rebuild the corridor. That looks good. Let's close the section editor. I will select the surface and we'll go back to object viewer. Let's tip this up and we'll spin it around so we can get a better look at that transition. I'll zoom in and we can see that this comes together much nicer now. Right here, we can see the standard negative 2% gutter slope. When we get to the end, we raise that up to a positive 2%. This matches nicely with the lane slope, and we have a better connection now between these two curb types. I'm going to close the object viewer. I'll press Escape. At this point, our southernmost surface is in order. In our next session, we'll learn how we can model the area between these two corridors.